اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علیہ و اصحابی اجمعین السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ Today, inshallah, I'm going to tell you the story of Khidr alayhi salam. Khidr alayhi salam is a man that Allah loves a lot and one of the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed. Now, the scholars, they disagree on whether he is a prophet or if he is not a prophet. But he is somebody very knowledgeable and he is a friend of Allah. He is one of the friends of Allah. Definitely. One day, Moses, Musa alayhi salam, he was asked by somebody, as in, who is the person who knows the most in this world? As in, which human being is the most knowledgeable? And Musa alayhi salam said, I don't know anybody in the world who knows more than me. And then, because he said this thing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who used to talk to Moses, Musa alayhi salam, directly, without sending an angel to give the message to them, like he did with other prophets, Allah said to Moses alayhi salam, He said, O oh Moses, there is one man who knows a lot more than you. So Moses said to him, peace be upon him, he said to Allah, said, Oh Allah, please could you tell me who is this man and where I can find him because I want to go and learn from him. I want to be his student and I want to learn from him what he knows. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he told Moses the name of this man and his name was Khidr, peace be upon him, Khidr alayhi salam. And Allah told Moses where he could find Khidr alayhi salam. So the next day, Moses said to his helper, he was a little boy about seven years old, six or seven years old, his name was Yusha bin Nun, or Yusha the son of Nun. Um, in the West they call him Joshua. So Moses said to Joshua, please can you get a basket and put two fish in it and some bread, because we have to go on a long journey. And so Yusha bin Nun carried the basket with two fish in it and some bread and he walked with Moses alayhi salam they walked and they walked and they walked and they walked all day until it was nearly night time um, just before it got dark they were walking along the sea and Joshua was holding the basket walking very close to the water and he went to a place where the water was swirling about in a funny way so that um, it was twisting, the water was twisting and moving in a very fascinating way so Joshua he went closer to have a look and when he got very close the two fish jumped out of the basket and went into the water and they swam away in a very funny way twisting like they were going through a tunnel and then Joshua thought oh no if Moses finds out that um, the fish are gone he's going to shout at me so he didn't tell Musa alayhi salam that the fish were gone and he just kept quiet so then they kept walking and walking and walking until it was dark. So Musa alayhi salam said to Yusha alayhi salam, because Joshua or Yusha bin Nun, when he grew up, he also became a prophet. So we say alayhi salam, which means peace be upon him. Whenever we say the name of a prophet, it's a prayer for them. If we say that, then we get reward and Allah loves us. That's why we say alayhi salam after the name of any prophet or the mother of a prophet or an angel. And we say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after the name of the final Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Musa Alaihi Salam said, Let's stop here and we can cook the fish and eat because we're hungry and we can sleep here and then we can carry on walking tomorrow to look for Khidr Alaihi Salam. Um so then Yusha alayhi salam was 
worried because the, he didn't have any fish because the fish had jumped out of the basket and swam away so he didn't know what to say so then he said to Musa alayhi salam said um, Shaitan made me forget to tell you that the fish jumped out into the water there was a place where the water was moving in a very funny way it was twisting and I went to have a look and then the fish jumped out and swam away like it was going through a tunnel then Musa alayhi salam said but that's the place that we're looking for can you take me back there so they walked back to that place and when they got there they found a man with white hair and a very long white beard Musa alayhi salam said to him are you Khidr alayhi salam and the man said yes I am so Musa alayhi salam said please can I be your student will you teach me what Allah has taught you so Khidr alayhi salam says you are not patient enough you will not be able to be patient enough to be my student because if you want to be my student then there are special rules that you have to follow one of them is that you're not allowed to ask any questions you have to just stay with me and listen to what I say and learn from what I tell you and not allowed to ask any questions I don't think you can be patient enough to not ask any questions so I don't think you can be my student so Musa alayhi salam said please please I will try my very very best you will find me that I am very patient please let me have a chance so Khidr alayhi salam says okay but remember no questions you wait until I tell you something until then you walk with me and you, st you stay quiet you are not allowed to ask any questions so Musa alayhi salam said okay then so they started to walk they walked and they walked and they walked and they walked and they kept on walking until they came to a big lake this is called Lake Galilee or Lake Jordan it's, it's a very big lake so big that you can't see the other side of the lake from one side you can't see the other side so sometimes they call it the Sea of Galilee and today this place is in between the countries of Jordan and Syria um, and Palestine when they got there they saw a big boat and they asked the people who owned the boat if they would take them across the sea to the other side and they said okay then and they got on the boat and it took them a long time to get to the other side and while they were on the boat they talked for a long time about lots of different things and they enjoyed the view when they got to the other side of the boat Khidr alayhi salam wanted to give the owner of the boat some money for bringing him across the sea but the owners of the boat they said no we don't need you to give us any money we'll let you go for free so they said thank you and they got off the boat when they got off the boat Khidr alayhi salam um, got a stick or a hammer or sometimes they say a knife and they made lots of holes lots of little holes in the boat and Musa alayhi salam saw this and he thought wait a minute that doesn't look right why is this man making a hole in the boat when the people of the boat were nice to us and they took us from the other side of the sea and they didn't even ask us for any money so he said to Khidr alayhi salam said oh Khidr alayhi salam why are you doing that these people were nice to us so why are you why are you why are you breaking the boat making holes in it that's not a good thing that looks like a naughty thing to do a bad thing to do so Khidr alayhi salam said to Musa alayhi salam said I told you before you are not allowed to ask any questions I don't think you can be my student I think you have to go now um, because you are not patient enough to be my student so Musa alayhi salam said oh I'm very sorry I forgot I won't ask another question please let me stay I promise I won't ask any more questions and I'm really sorry that I asked you a question so Khidr alayhi salam said okay then but remember don't ask any questions so then they carried on walking and they walked and they walked and they walked for a long time until they came to a town just outside the town they saw a group of children playing 
Khidr alayhi salam went up to one boy about six or seven years old so about the same age as Yusha bin Nun alayhi salam who was with them and he got a knife out and he killed the boy with the knife Musa alayhi salam saw this and he thought wait a minute this doesn't look right that boy is a little boy innocent doesn't done anything wrong hasn't done anything wrong and he was just playing why did this man just go and kill him he doesn't even know his name that's not a good way to behave so he said to Khidr alayhi salam said oh Khidr alayhi salam what you did was wrong that boy was innocent he hadn't done anything bad why did you kill him surely that's a bad thing you did so Khidr alayhi salam said to Musa alayhi salam he said oh Musa that's a question you asked me and you said you were not going to ask any more questions I don't think you can be my student I think you have to go now and you don't have the patience to be my student so Musa alayhi salam said oh I'm really really sorry I forgot again please give me one, one last chance I promise this time I won't ask any more questions and if I do ask you another question then I'll go please give me one last chance so Khidr alayhi salam said okay this is your last chance remember no questions you walk with me and you wait till I tell you something and that's how you're going to learn so they carried on walking into the town when they got to the middle of the town they were very hungry they asked the people of the town for some food they said they hadn't eaten for a long time remember the fish that they were going to eat went away into the sea and then they were, were, were walking for a long time without any, eating anything then the people of the town said no we can't give you any food because we don't have any food extra we just got enough for ourselves so then they carried on walking they walked and they walked and they walked and they walked all the way through the town until they got to the other side when they got to the other side they found the last house of that town the wall of that house was breaking away so Khidr alayhi salam who was a builder who knew how to fix walls and and things went and found some stones and some tools and some sand and he fixed the wall of the house and then he started to walk away now Musa alayhi salam was very hungry and he watched all this and he thought we helped these people out we fixed their walls so maybe we should ask them for some food or some money because we are very hungry so he said to Khidr alayhi salam oh Khidr alayhi salam why did you fix that wall for nothing why didn't you ask the people of the house for some money and we could use the money to buy some food because we haven't eaten for a long time so Khidr alayhi salam said to Moses peace be upon him he said oh Musa this is another question you asked me remember this was your last chance you said you wouldn't ask any questions I'm afraid this is the place where you have to go your way and I have to go my way no more chances you can't be my student anymore but before you go I will tell you the answer to the three questions that you asked that you could not be patient with first of all the people who owned the boat were two poor fishermen two brothers they used the boat was the only thing they had they owned they used the boat every day to go and catch fish and they would bring the fish to the market sell it and use the money to buy food and clothes and things for their family now behind our boat that we were on was a the boat of a naughty king a tyrant a dictator and this king if he finds a nice boat he likes to take it by force from the owners so I made holes in the boat so that when the king arrived he will find that this boat isn't very nice it's broken so he will keep going and won't take the boat away from them then these brothers they could fix the boat and then go carry on fishing and they'll carry on living their lives and earning their living by fishing with this boat the second question you asked that little boy was going to grow up into an evil sinful person and he was going to be very bad to his mum and dad his parents and he was going to become a kafir and he's going to 
caused so much pain and suffering for his parents that they were going to become kafir as well and him and his parents were going to go to hell so Allah told me that I should take the life of this boy then he can go to heaven because before he's mature if he dies he goes automatically to heaven then Allah will give his parents another child another boy who is going to be good person and he will be nice to his mom and dad and he will go to heaven and cause his parents to go to heaven and your third question that the people of this town were very cruel and selfish they did have food but they wouldn't give share it with us that's how, I, how we know that they are cruel and selfish and the house belonged to a very good man who just died and he had two little children and two little boys who were still very small and underneath this wall he had buried some treasure that he wanted his sons to get when they grown up now if that wall was broken the naughty selfish and cruel people of the town would find the treasure and they would take it away from the two little boys and they won't be strong enough to keep it or to fight the, the people of the town so Allah, Allah asked me to fix the wall so that nobody would find the treasure for another 10 years or so and by that time the two boys would be stronger and bigger and then they will be able to keep the treasure that their father left for them and use it to spend on what they need and Allah looks after the children of good people in this way so Musa salam thanked Khidr salam for teaching him these things and him and Yusha alayhi salam they went back home to Jerusalem and Khidr alayhi salam he went his way and that is the end of my story you can find this story in the Quran in Surah Kahf Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells this story of Khidr alayhi salam and Musa alayhi salam and Yusha alayhi salam in Surah Kahf so if you want to read it and you can read the translation that's where the story is I hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps you and me to understand the lessons from this story in the Quran because Allah said that he put lots of stories in the Quran about people who lived before good people like prophets and friends of Allah like Khidr alayhi salam and also some stories about naughty kings like Pharaoh and Namrud and Shaddad so that we can learn lessons from these stories thank you for your time thank you for listening أقول لكم لهذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم وآخر دوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين